Hello, my name is Raghav Marotra, um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Sabian anthology series that Sabian is coming out with. Um, so yeah, the, the first thing I noticed about these symbols is their look. I mean, they've got not a brilliant look, and they've got a very nice shine, especially when a stage light is on it, so, uh, you know, it shows the cool pinks and greens and reds and violets and, and stuff. Uh, on stage, which is really nice to look at, and it's really pretty. And the second thing is the low versus the high bell design. Uh, for me, not only the functionality of the low and high bell, but um, the difference in look, it just looks incredibly cool to have um, both a low and a high bell um, of the same size of a symbol and uh, the same line of a symbol too, so um, it, it's really intriguing, in fact. Um, sonically, though, uh, I fell in love straight out of the box, I fell in love with the 22 High Bell Ride. Um, for me, it's something uh, that I've been wanting on a cymbal for so long. It has this very defined mid-range, um, which for me, I relate back to Tony Williams um, and his sound. Um, and it's something that I can play across any type of style. I can play across jazz, rock, funk, blues, even like electronica. Um, and like drum and bass stuff. It's got a very, very articulate sound. It's not only um, has amazing stick definition, but overall the cymbal is very open. It, it's, it speaks almost, which is exactly what you want from a cymbal. And that's exactly what I found in this cymbal um, uh, when you play it on the bow. And on the bell, the bell is so incredibly articulate, and I think that comes from its high bell design. Um, it's got a very clear sound it's not muddy and there's no overtones with the bell it's just one consistent uh note and it's 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 beautiful it cuts through perfectly through all the other symbols that i have uh, on my kit and but it blends so well with the crash sound when you do crash it secondly for me is the 14 inch low bell hi-hats um these hi-hats uh, for me, I mean, I I am used to playing 15-inch hi-hats because it's a perfect mix between a 14 and a 16. It's got body like a 16, but it's also got a nice attack, and it's very sharp like a 14-inch. Uh, but the 14-inch anthologies for me, uh, the low bells, are, are incredibly articulate, and they also have that, that body that you need, when, especially when you're playing uh, on the side of your stick uh, and on, on the edge of the hi-hat. That's something that... I do a lot, um, and it's got a nice body, and when you open the uh, the hi-hat up a little bit and kind of ride splash on it, if that's even a term, uh, it's got a great wash, and um, just like the other symbol, just like the other symbols, it, it cuts through so perfectly through a mix. Uh, secondly, the, the stick definition on the symbol, incredible. I couldn't have thought of a symbol that has this much body as well as having the clear uh, stick definition to cut through uh, the rest of my drums. And I don't mean symbols, I mean drums, uh, just like the 14 inch uh, low bells have. So that's great. And you know, contrary to popular belief, even though it's a low bell, it's still got a great bell sound. So when I want to ride on a hi-hat, uh, kind of breaking convention a little bit, uh, I can absolutely do that. And it can give me a great sound. Um, with the 22 inch low bell ride, uh, you've got a very, it's almost like a flat rider sound. Um, and you, and we all know flat rides for not having bells. They don't have any art clear articulation on the bell, but because they don't have a bell, but even though this is low, this has an amazing bell sound. It's also very clear like the high bell. It has a couple more overtones, um, which is why I like to use it as a crash. Um, as like a 22 inch crash. I mean, it's a it's a big crash, but it's it's not overpowering and it's It's sustain is not so long that I can't crash it multiple times in a bar um, And have it overpower the rest of my symbols and, and kind of sound washed out completely with this symbol it has the perfect balance between uh, Like a, a, a far out wide big sound and also a very short attack and, and articulation, um, especially on a crash. So that's what I love this symbol for. Um, and the, the crash symbols are very unique, I think. Um, here is the low bell 18 inch crash, which I'm particularly in love with, but also the high bell is great. Um, for this symbol, it has a very, very short uh, um, crash 
time. Um, it's great to ride on. Um, and the bell is absolutely amazing. Uh, so with this symbol, I ride on it more than I crash on it. And I think that's, uh, it's different than you see from a lot of symbols nowadays. Um, but it's got the perfect sound for a ride where you can crash the symbol and then right away at the next beat, get back to the ride. And it still sounds like it's, it's uh, not washing away and it's not, you're not losing control of the symbol. Um, that's what I love about this one. And I mean, you can use the 18 inch crashes as hi-hats as well. With the low and the high bell, I put the high bell on the uh, top and I put the low bell on the bottom and I use them as crash symbols and they work incredibly. Uh, they work as a great alternative to like a 16 inch hi-hat pair. They also function as crashes, rides, and also hi-hats, really deep, big hi-hat, which I, Love that sound when I'm using like a thicker snare and like a 24 inch kick drum on a session or something. It's got a great wash um, and a great sound. I think sonically overall, the, the best thing about these cymbals is that they give you the maximum control. Um, not only do they have, like I said, amazing, they have amazing definition, they have amazing wash, they have the perfect response time and they don't overpower any other type of cymbal. Uh, they give you such control over the over the symbols the symbols lend their control to you they they they're at your disposal to to play with and to really explore all the sounds and i've not found once where the symbols kind of gotten away from me uh the symbol is always uh it's it's all it sounds are perfectly at my fingertips and i can access each sound when i want to um and i think that's super important especially when you know exploring a new symbol it takes time to get control of that symbol but with with the anthology series, I found that it's taking me no time at all to, to really get to know the symbol and to uh, find, find, for me to find the symbol's place among my uh, other symbols and other series and, and where it can be used in a musical setting. Um, another great thing about anthology is that I own uh, a couple other series of, of Sabian. I own HHX and AAX and also a, a couple of artisans, um, and they fit perfectly. I mean, sometimes there is like a divide between a series and you can hear the difference and a, like sometimes a series only sounds good with a series but it anthologies fit perfectly within any series and I don't think you could um, I, you, you couldn't convince me otherwise I used my high bell anthology ride with uh, an artisan elite um, 21 inch light ride symbol um, and the two go together magnificently I mean they're they're different enough that they have different tones and different timbres, but especially when you play them together and crash them together and you switch from cymbal to cymbal, uh, like for me when I'm switching between like a bassist and a, and a pianist or a saxophone player and a pianist solo um, in, a, in like a quartet or a trio setting, uh, I mean, it, it's, it just, it gives you the right amount of switch, but it also doesn't feel too stark uh, that you lose control of the sound and you lose control of where you're going with the sound. I love that about these symbols. Um, the high bell uh, hi-hats for me, the 14 inch anthology high bell hi-hats have an amazing attack um, and, and they're very, very clear cut through a mix. And I was playing a bunch of drum and bass uh, recently and for that style of music especially, I. I got such a clear sound um, and I got such a sharp, like a bark attack from the cymbals. Not so much that it was like blowing my mics out, but it was just enough that it gave the hi-hat a little more presence in the music um, without me having to change too much about my technique or anything. It just, the cymbal, again, it gave me control over what I wanted to do with the cymbal and what I felt was its place in the music. Um, and it's, it's just amazing. So yeah.